Hello, this video I got from YouTube that originally recorded in Chinese. I'm going to translate most of the important part into English so everybody from other country have the opportunity to benefit from this video. So the customer complain about this microwave is no heating but the display is normal. Since it is a inverter microwave and there is no fuse on high voltage side so the problem should be on the control board. Two LED light the top is baking function. At the back there's a plastic tube. At the back there's a steam uh, exhaust over there. The black wire for a little speaker. Now we take a look at the main control board. So the front is a computer board. Then it is a magnetron. These are pretty normal, but there is no high voltage transformer. This position there is an inverter module. Let's check the input voltage. If we have input voltage 220 volts, then the problem is on the board. We have measured that there is an input, 220 volts, and the magnetron has no shot. We are going to take out the control board, inverter, control board. There is a smaller transformer compared to the traditional microwave. This is the input voltage, 15 watt resistor. Then IGBT and bridge. Some microwave has two IGBT. This one only have one. Here is a resistor, 7.5 ohm. So after that, there's a capacitors and the two diodes. Let's check this diode. Okay, let's use one time ohm multimeter. It looks open. Why? Because these diodes are for microwave. There are lots of diodes connected, integrated inside, not a single one. So let's use 10k ohms to test it. The first looks OK, the second is short. Let's turn back to one time, ohm. It looks short, let's disconnect it. Now let's check it when it's disconnected. So we still use one time scale. So after test, it looks like it is bad. It is better to test it when it's disconnected. Sometimes it may caused by the transformer nearby. When we use 10K scale to test the, the transformer, we got open circuit because there are actually two sets of coil. So actually we can test 
the diode on board. Now I'm going to buy a same diode. That's it. Looks simple. And come back, there's another story behind.